Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to Raven67854 Gaming, and welcome back to another Left 4 Dead 2 tutorial. In this tutorial, what we're going to do is we are going to look at the various types of tool textures. And there's a link into the description if you'd like to see them all. And it also gives like really good detailed uh, descriptions on what each one does and, you know, which source games they're used for and so forth. It's fantastic. Uh, the other thing that I want to mention is, of course, as the title says, we're going to be looking at the block lights tool. Now, what we're actually going to do is I'm just going to zip on over here is we're going to kind of fix this up a little bit so that the lights only kind of coming in through the bottom of the door, so to speak. And it's not lighting up this whole room because this particular mesh right here doesn't uh, doesn't block light at all, actually. And you'll probably find that quite a few um, do not actually block uh, light. And so, believe it or not, what you can do is you can use this particular tool texture to, like, say, if you had... A really big mesh and it didn't you know capture the light well you could just you know do like a rough block out with some brushes with this tool and you could just block it right off for example as well you know you could even do it with this door now i caution i would not recommend that maybe for the door frame itself you could get away with it but the reason i don't recommend you use this particular um tool texture for this is while you know you're saying ah well you know you could block this off and then just the light would be coming through the bars and it would look nice until you opened up the door because you know it's pre-computed so it's not dynamic so it's better to just have the light and just let it pour out or fill this room with a bit more light so that it's not noticeable there's a lot of other ways to get around it so what we're going to do is we're just going to zip right on over to here and then we're going to select our brush uh, tool, or our block tool, Shift B. Now we're going to go over here to Browse, and we're going to type in Tools. And there's quite a few of them here. Uh, you know, you have Block Line of Sight, Block Bullets, Block Light, Clip, Player Control Clip, Area Porter, Invisible Metal, Fog Volume. There's all kinds. And we're going to talk about some of them over the next course of a uh, few videos, and then we'll eventually come back. And we're just going to select the Block Light. And we are just going to zoom down. And we want to move this up ever so slightly. There we go. And I'm just going to drag it up, make sure it's covering the door there. And I'll just hit enter. And then we'll go back to my selection tool. And now I'm going to go out here into where there's sun so that we can also see what it does. Uh, let's see here. I'm just going to create just like a simple little thing. Probably drag it up over here. I'll just hit enter. This is only for demonstration purposes. Uh, I'm not going to keep this up at all. Or I'm not going to keep this. I'll, I'll remove this after the tutorial. Now, another thing too is, of course, it only blocks light. So you can't. Um, you can walk through it, doesn't stop bullets. It's only used for calculating lighting, uh, which means as well, you cannot use this to, um, you know, say, for example, um, you can't use it to seal a level because, you know, inside of, you know, all source games, you have to have your entire level contained within brushes. Uh, you cannot use the block light to do this. So I'm just going to wait a second here and wait for this to load super super quick or in this case probably not very quick because it does actually take quite a quite a moment there just sitting there it's thinking it's thinking real hard it can do it though i have faith in it okay and i went on ahead and binded uh no clip so if we go here now we can see that we have a lovely little bit it's just lit like there's uh you know like there's a wall there but there isn't and if we go over into here, this room should be completely black now. And if we go right here, yep, you can see the light's just kind of pouring in ever so slightly. And this room, for the most part, is fairly dark. And this room would probably also benefit from its own environment cube map. 
Uh, you know, if you really wanted to, you could have this room be just, uh, you know, brighter. Just have, you know, just a, a, a little bit of light. And then, you know, you could get rid of that block light and it might actually create a better look. Yeah, I, I suggest playing around with it, you know, just experiment with it. There's all sorts of, you know, wonderful things that, you know, you can learn from just experimenting. And we're going to delete these like right now. Okay, so that is the uh, tool texture block light. Uh, and the next one, I think we'll look at the player clip and what that does. And I will see you all in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, and as well, if you like this, of course, hit that bell so you actually get notifications. And as well, uh, if you'd like to support the channel, you can become a member, you get early access to videos, all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, plus some other perks, you know, check out, you know, hit the join button or the link in the description. And if you'd like to, definitely do join the Discord. You know, lots of uh, starting to really grow and get quite a few uh, people uh, interested in Left 4 Dead and Godot and various other engines and so forth in there. And it's starting to get a fairly talented group of people. So it's pretty good. And I hope you guys have a good one. And I'll see you all in the next one.